I've got another tuning that I'm actually personally using myself, and this is um, the one that I um, really love the most <laughs> uh, myself. Um, it's uh, it's called the Power Bender, and this is quite a radical change. Um, essentially, um, we've got more notes um, changing here. Um, I've written a, because it is a bit more radical. I've written a, a special instructional book um, for it, which is just just hot off the press. And it's got an 86 track CD in the back, and it shows you how you can play this harp in eight positions and 11 major and minor keys with no overblows. Because basically, what it does is it is it um, it changes the tuning so that the overblows that you normally need um, on a on a diatonic uh, Richter diatonic are replaced with draw bends. So, for instance, the overblow in hole number four is replaced with a draw bend on hole 5. And that sounds great, like, say, in first position. And that's first position in here. OK, now the, the main characteristic of this is that your your tonic in the middle octave is no longer no longer a blow. It's a draw note. So your draw note um, in two draw is now six draw uh, is, is is echoed at six draw in the middle octave and nine draw. So they're always draw notes, all those cross harp um, home notes. So there I was using quite a lot of bends, but you can also play cross up as just a, a sweet major key. And also you can play it as minor. First position. Expressive in the middle octave. Um, third position you can play as minor or major. That's the that's the minor version, and then the major. And um, that's really good for playing, say, the, the five chord going to the one chord. So basically my book um, goes through all these different positions. Um, say 11th position is good, um, which is your basi basically based on the um, uh, three draw with a slight bend. Okay. Um, all my harps are now tuned to this, this uh, power bender tuning. I just love it. It's fantastic. Um, uh, that's uh, 11th position. 12th position. Um, that's a real cool one as well. Um, say if you want to play something like Sweet Georgia Brown, you know, that's normally I choose 12th position. So you can play these kind of more jazzy, far out melodies um, um, using all these just bends. And so the beauty of it is that basically you can get all this chromatic uh, facility and expression um, without having to use overblows. Um, the overblows are perfectly possible in this harp. In fact, you can overblow every single hole, but they're um, relegated to kind of minor notes in the um, in most of the popular positions. Um, so they're not they're not really essential notes. All your main juicy notes are draw bends. So again. Uh, it's draw bending, and then if you want to use overblows, you can. But draw bending 
will allow you to play in 11 keys without overblows um, and um, eight positions. So anyway, it's a it's a little it's a, it's a more of an extensive retuning, um, but um, it's one that's really rewarding if you want to spend the time with it. Um, and it's as I say, it's my main position now. But because it's more demanding, um, you know, I've written this this book, which will basically takes you by the hand and leads you very slowly through all the different positions and, and gets you used to the tuning. So that's the power bender. <laughs>